Good afternoon, Tigers. On behalf of the crew of USS America, we want to welcome you aboard our great ship. On behalf of the safety department, we want to talk to you about a few of the safety hazards that you may come in contact with during your stay on board. So with that being said, let's get right into it. So what we have here is an aircraft tie down, a very dangerous tripping hazard. As you move about the hangar bay, you may see these at various locations. Be sure to stand clear and to walk around them. The non-skid on the deck is very harsh on bare skin, so please be careful. So next, we're gonna move into the passageways and we're gonna talk about a few safety hazards that you may come in contact with as you're moving about the ship through the passageways. Now, what we have here is a watertight door. You'll find a lot of these doors all over the ship. A lot of times there's people on the other side as you're trying to cross through. So with the uneven pressure differences on these doors, you have to maintain positive control. Keep both hands on the door and operate the door so that the door doesn't hit you or hit someone on the other side. Okay, so now we're in the passageway of the ship, one of the main traffic areas on the ship. This is a very narrow part of the passageway, and as you can see, there are many things for you to bump your head on or run into. So as you move through the passageways, be very careful to make sure that you stay away from the things that can hurt you. So now we're gonna talk about ladder well safety. So in regards to ladder well safety, as you move up and down the ladder, be sure to maintain three points of contact on the ladder at all times. That's both hands on the handrail and at least one foot on the step as you move about the ladder. Here we have a scuttle. As you go down the scuttle, you have to make sure that you maintain your footing and positive control so that you don't fall down the scuttle. And that is how you come down a scuttle safely. Now to go up through the scuttle, be sure to look in the direction you're moving so you don't hit your head on the scuttle while you're going up. Okay, now we're approaching an airlock. To move through the airlock, you first wanna look through the window to make sure no one else is on the other side. You have to make sure that only one door is open at a time. When you do that, you have both hands on the door. Step in. Then you close the door behind you all the way down. Then you can open the other door. Next, we're gonna show you what happens when more than one door of the airlock is open at a time. And that's what happens when more than one door of the airlock is open at a time. Here we have a knee knocker. It's called a knee knocker for obvious reasons. You can find these in various places on board the ship. As you pass through a knee knocker, it's best to lift your foot high enough to make sure you clear the knee knocker so you don't trip and fall. As we approach the evening hours on board the ship, we do a thing called darken ship. That's when we turn on the red lights around the ship. As you can see, it's much harder to see during darken ship hours. So as you move about the ship during darken ship hours, pay even more attention. So now we're on the flight deck. The flight deck is also considered a weather deck. Weather decks are defined as any platform outside the skin of the ship. For example, the smoke deck. When going on weather decks at night or during darkened ship hours, be sure to use the buddy system so in case you fall overboard, there's somebody who can report it. That's all I have for the safety video today. On behalf of the crew of the USS America, we welcome you aboard again. We hope you enjoy your stay. As our commanding officer would say, Stay focused, stay safe, and do great things.